Hey gang, welcome back to Flipper Flicks, a show where we review whatever movie we feel like based on a category wheel. This is episode, what episode is this? Eight. Eight. That's exciting in itself. Kind of, yeah. And I'll let my co-hosts introduce themselves in a bit because I wanted to share some exciting news that you can now listen to us on multiple platforms. Woo! Um, Fancy us! We're on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Castbox, Radio Public, Pocket Casts. I think that covers that's all eight of them. But anywho, if we are not somewhere where you want to listen to us, which I don't even know how this would happen because you'd be listening to us, but not where I don't know. Let us know (laughs) on Twitter if they have a more favorable app. Yeah. Outside of the eight, let us know. Outside of the eight, let us know, and we'll work our way over there. You can let us know on <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, at Flipperflakes. So, without further ado, as much as I'd love to keep talking just so that these people can't introduce themselves, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Tim. <laughs> there, there's Tim. He, he paused for effect. And I'm Adam. <laughs> Guys and, make me think I'm alone here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, Sam's by herself. We're just ghosts. <laughs> We're all just ghosts in this crazy world. We be ghosting. <laughs> All right. So this week on Flipper Flicks, since Sam already said the name, I'm going to say it again for emphasis. Well, you know, you just got to get it out there as many times as possible. Yeah, for reals. We watched a movie from my childhood known as Little Nemo, Little Nemo Adventures <laughs> in Slumberland. This has nothing to do with Finding Nemo. Really? There are no fish. In, well, there might be fish. I don't remember seeing any clownfish. There were not any clownfish. There were no clownfish in this film. So wait, did, had you actually seen this as a kid? Oh, yeah. This movie gave me nightmares as, as a child. Like, I straight up used to wake up in the middle of the night because of this film. Weird. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why. I know. Crazy, right? <laughs> you can catch this movie on Amazon Prime right now. But when you search it, you actually have to make sure you write out all of Little Nemo. Little N E no 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 you gotta go all the way to Nemo. Just commit to it. Just commit. But Adventures in Slumberland can be left off. Don't have to stretch your fingers that much. Yeah, not that far, not far. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, so this is a movie I watched when I was a kid. I remember loving it up to a certain point, and then I would turn it off and rewind it because I didn't. It scared me too much. Wait, did you restart the movie? No, I didn't restart it afterwards. <laughs> I would put it. Just I would pull, it on loop. I would put it back in the VHS tape and hide it away and be like, "We good now." And I'm gonna be honest. I had no understanding of what this story was as a kid. It was just lots of fr- pretty pictures for a long time. Wait, so you didn't finish the movie? So you rewound it so that the next time you wouldn't see the scary part? Yeah, yeah. I would start over. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good choice. Good choice, right? <laughs> Wait, so what were the ratings? Did you already say that? Oh, the ratings. The critics on Rotten Tomato are non-existent. Mm. Okay. It's there. I'll get into that later. It's kind of an interesting point of view. Um, and then the audience gave it an 84%. Wow. Let's see, let's see if we can match that today. But Tim, okay, we got a text from Tim to confirm this had nothing to do with Finding Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you first saw the like the image, what'd you think? Because I know you didn't watch the trailer. Yeah. So like when we decided on the movie, I was like, okay, Amazon, blah blah blah, Little Nemo, cool. It's probably like a Little Nemo sequel or something. Uh, and then I I opened it like a couple days before we watched it. And I was like, mm, I'll check it out. And I was like, wait, what is this movie? <laughs> this isn't what I expected. <laughs> Little Nemo and Slumberland, and then it had a bunch of like you know Finding Nemo stuff yep. up there, and I was like. Huh. Yeah, yeah. It's really fun to try and explain it to people. (laughs) Yeah. Because a lot of people didn't know about this movie, so you'd be like, yeah, you remember the movie Little Nemo, right? Well, there's there's my thought on it is I'm surprised that you watched it as a kid because to me, I was like, okay, this is made in the same time that Harry and the Hendersons was made, but I have no idea what this is. (laughs) Yeah, I know. (laughs) I know. It was that my grandparents had it. That's all I know. Uh it's one yeah. they had a good amount of VHSs like growing up mm-hmm. like the entire adventures of Winnie the Pooh mm-hmm. stuff Classic. like that right yeah. yeah yeah I wouldn't say that this was like 
known a classic or even like it was like no. not on my radar because a couple months ago actually you were like talking about it i remember and he showed me the trailer and i was like that movie looks crazy like i don't think i ever want to watch that and then lo and behold i have mm-hmm. watched it now <laughs> yes you have so that's how it works um, I, I texted my sister about it and she was just like oh my god the nostalgia i was like <laughs> I know, right? My brother doesn't. He doesn't remember it though. I don't know if we forced him to watch it. Maybe he would get. Maybe scared. he purged it. He's a scaredy cat. <laughs> Maybe he purged it from his memory because there, there's a point of the movie I have no recollection of. Most of it, I can be like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Mm-mm. There's a point where I had turned it off. I was just like, <laughs> nah, nah, man, that's not me. <laughs> It's not for me. Honestly, it, re- it reminds me part of, um, was that Dumbo? Mm-hmm. Uh, the elephant movie? Like, the, the psychedelic part? Oh. It was like an entire movie of that section of Dumbo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can and see I, that. I always hated that part. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite part of Dumbo? <laughs> I hated it. So, wait, are you a half a lump some woozle guy? I don't know what that the is. Half a lump some woozle. No, no, no. From Winnie the Pooh? I'm going to take silence that you didn't watch Pooh Bear that much. I mean, not really, I don't think. I watched it a little bit, sure, yeah. Again, my parent, my grandparents had the whole collection, so I've seen a lot. You would say you're a, a, a Pooh expert? I, I'm an expert on Pooh. <laughs> ah. All the shapes and sizes now of Pooh. Now we're getting somewhere. Sam, oh, that can be your segment, Sam. If there's any poop in the movies. Okay. Oh, man. Great. Sweet. Congratulations. <laughs> Much success. Next next we'll get, like, Jurassic Park, and there's oh. a big old doo-doo in that. That's true. Okay, but, okay, let's not talk about the poop, but there was <laughs> parts of this that, so it reminded Tim of Dumbo. It reminded me of Miyazaki films, so, like, the goo. Oh, yeah, there, there's a good reason for that. Reminded me of, like, Princess Mononoke. And, like, I think there's actually, like, goo in Howl's. Like, the Witch of the Waste turns into goo. She does. Point, she does. Right? And, like, Spirited Away has the goo. So, like, it's it's a trademark of those movies. And it, it gave me those vibes. But <laughs> you're smiling, like. Yeah, it should. Yeah? Because <laughs> this movie is the first anime to get a wide release in the United States. Okay. This was done by a Tokyo company. Okay. It's like TCS, not TCS, that's not it, but like they're, the beginning it shows the production company that I totally should have yeah. known, but it's Tokyo, it's a Tokyo, com- a company located in Tokyo, and they actually had Hayao Miyazaki and Isao Takahata on staff in the 1982 when it first went into production. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm not crazy. So you're not crazy. Well, because there were other parts of it, too. Like, the way... Okay, so I don't want to get too far into the movie because I have a lot of points at the beginning. But what? when they get to Slumberland and him and Flip are, like, running around. Like, yes. they kind of round a corner and they're, like, holding hands. And there's no way to describe this except, like, it's a Miyazaki run. Like, where their knees are up, like, super high. Oh, yeah. And, like, spindly, oh, yeah. like... Unless you've seen those films, you have no idea what I'm so, talking about. But Miyazaki definitely. didn't last that long on it. He and um, Takahato mm-hmm. left to make Ghibli in the middle of it. They were just like, we done. Miyazaki has been quoted to say that it is the worst experience he has ever <gasps> went through oh, to make this film. Snap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I love my Ghibli films, which I'm going to try and call it Ghibli because that's what they apparently are actually called. Even though I've called it Ghibli my whole life. <laughs> right. I always do the hard G. <laughs> Is Miyazaki the correct way to pronounce yes. that? Yes. Okay. I was like, after I just went through this whole rant. Okay, so we talked about the beginning. You said the production company. Let me just slide this in here. My first... Ray Bradbury? Burry? No. My first... Uh, how do I want to say this? Like, the thing that I want to commend them on. The sheer oh. laziness of the credit opening it looks like like a word document and they like filled the background with color yeah and a little bit of music and like just it took forever colors. i was just like if you solid, notice in the cast so much effort. <laughs> if you notice in the cast though mm-hmm. the guy the dirigible conductor yes and one of the oompas mm-hmm. are the same voice actor but he's listed twice 
instead of just like a comma, like he's this guy and this guy. No, no. If you're not, if you're just watching and reading all the names, you'll be like, why is he gone here twice? He what? Yeah. Well, and I will say I knew that this movie was going to be great when that credit scene showed up, and it was like Oompa Oompi Oompo Oom. Uh, yeah, I was Oompa. like, sweet. The Oom- <laughs> What the heck is happening? Oh, and they, yeah. once you get to them, yeah, it's hard to forget them. That is true. Yeah, they, I got I got something uh, all right, random all right. that I found very early on in the movie that I'm sure Adam already knows. But, <laughs> yeah. So the writer of Harry and the Hendersons, yep. is the voice for Mr. Nightmare. Yes, what? Bill Martin. I accidentally found that because on Amazon, if you click off or whatever uh, deposit, it'll just pop up the cast. And I saw a zoomed in face of Harry. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay, what? So I had to click on it and figure out, and it was just the writer of Harry. It's one of the three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Harry and the Hendersons was meant to be. <laughs> this is, and Little Nemo, Adventures in Slumberland. That's funny. Oh my. Mm-hmm. This, yeah, this had a lot of nostalgia for me because all I remember really is, I remember Flip extremely well. Fucking Flip. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> so <laughs> so weird. Yeah. As a child, I thought Flip was great. He was just like this mischievous guy. He wasn't doing anything bad. No, no, Flip's an ass. Yeah. No, he is. He's yeah. totally an ass. But child Adam did not think this. He 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 he's he's the it's a joke, bro. <laughs> bro, it's That's just a is. joke. The definition. It's just a joke. It's just a bro. prank, bro. Yeah. I lit all those fireworks that they had for the coronation on fire. It's just a prank, bro. Yeah, like I opened the key, the door to Nightmare Lang. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, they do, I could definitely see how as a kid you wouldn't catch that because, like, I don't know. They give him this air of like Nemo is always having fun with him. You know what I mean? So I can kind of like right. get it, but so you don't since- think he's a bad guy. I mean, I totally do as an adult. But well, I no, you don't how, as a kid. Yeah, as a kid, you wouldn't see that. But since you brought up the fireworks, do we think that Slumberland knows that fireworks are supposed to go off at night? I don't think the they two care. times they shot them off yeah, there in the know. day. I just well, I don't think Slumberland has a night because if you notice, yeah, almost all of the adults in Slumberland, their eyes are shut ninety percent of the time. Oh, so they're like catching all of his sleep. teachers, <laughs> all of his teachers except for the equestrian teacher. We're teaching him with their eyes shut. I did notice that. Because they're in slumberland. So they're all asleep. Okay, but like I don't think the king's eyes don't show up during the day. Well, I mean they could. Could they? It's a fictitious <laughs> world where ostriches fly. Okay, well that was my first And question. and they have croco gators. Wow. Not crocodiles or alligators. Yeah. They have just jump on the croco gators. And I was like, huh. Yeah, and she straight up says, the princess is like... Princess Camille. Don't worry, they're friendly. Like, bitch, they're friendly because they're going to eat you. Like, yeah. come on now. These are <laughs> croco gators. Like, I don't croco know. Gators. That's an apex predator, even if... Especially if they're mixed. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got Santa as the king. Fatso. No, Santa. I always <laughs> thought he was Santa. He looks like Like, nice. I legitimately didn't yeah. know his yeah. name was King Morpheus. Which, what a badass name. For such a, like, fat, chubby yeah. guy. <laughs> for for being Santa Claus. The boat was also called Morpheus. Yep. Yes, it was. Now, Sam, you're you're into the Greek gods and whatnot. Morpheus is a Greek god. Really? Of dreams. Oh. In Slumberland. So I was like, that's clever. Very clever. <laughs> yeah. Clever girl. I know, right? But anybody else notice that, like, when Nima first meets the king, Santa mm-hmm. Claus. Fatso. Fatso. No. Santa Claus <laughs> is... I wrote Santa down on all of my stuff. I wrote Fatso. <laughs> um, so he and Santa are talking. Like, they're working on the train. Doesn't even bat an eye that he's there. Yeah. Yeah. What You wrote down what he... Um, he Like, Nima knew what was the problem. Yes. Okay, that was another one of my beefs. So... Another? I, this is the first one I thought. No, the first beef was the, the fireworks. The oh. second beef is that he just, like... Okay, so how old is Nemo? What do you He's like think? eight. Eight? Yeah. So that's what, like third, second grade? Second, second third, grade. third grade-ish. Do you think that second or third graders really know what a piston gadget is? 
and a dirigible. <laughs> and then, like, the train breaks down with Morpheus on it. And he's like, oh, yeah, just turn the piston gadget another quarter turn. And Morpheus is like, hmm, yes, that works. Anything else? And he's like, yeah. make sure you oil it. And it's just like, I can believe that he's, like, into trains and... It's like, choo-choo. Yeah, but, like, I can't believe that he knows what a piston gadget is unless his dad, like, works Gasket, on it. Right? No, I don't know. Anyways. Right. I don't know. But I'm right after he rides the train, know. did you notice that he was just like, I haven't had that fun like that in years. And I was like, <laughs> Nemo, you're, like, eight. So are you saying you haven't had fun for, like, like 25% of your life? Yeah. <laughs> well, my other beef was in that same scene because... They like okay, so Morpheus is riding the train, right? That big old boy, Santa. Yeah, just, Santa's on that train going, and the train's not like stopping or like even struggling. Like it's just zipping around with Fatso on it. And don't believe Tim. What do you call him the whole time? Yeah, Santa. Uh, I called him Santa because <laughs> he is Santa. Yeah. Well, yeah, he literally, I was like, oh, so he just got Santa as, like, the main dude in his dreams. All right, cool. Yeah, like, which would make sense as a child. That is true. Mm-hmm. That is true. Not a fatso. Well, but the thing is. They were all part of the circus at the very beginning. Yeah, I know. The circus I parade. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, that, that is how cool. dreams work. Yeah, you can't, like, you supposedly psychologists claim this. I don't know. I type on a computer. But they say that you can't imagine up a new br- uh, a new face. Every face you see in a dream is one that you have seen in your real life. I've seen, yeah. Yeah. So, Santa, Santa would make a lot of sense. <laughs> He's seen a lot of Santas too. Because he, he like, <laughs> honestly looks like the Coke, Coca Cola Santa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that Santa from like the 1980s. Except for his Greek god outfit. <laughs> well, they changed his outfit to be Greek god. They combined the Coca Cola Santa with the Greek gods. So you think that ne- little Nemo is uh, reading Greek mythology? Oh, he knows so he about iron train, <laughs> iron gasket thingies. Yeah. <laughs> could be, could be. Well, I before we get too far, one of the first people you meet is Professor Genius, which Tim, I feel like you would have been best friends with Professor Genius. I mean, he's a genius. Yeah, maybe, but uh, he wasn't so much of a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it's his name. He's not a genius. Well, you know. <laughs> no, but he introduces himself where he says, I'm a professor a and I'm a genius. You can call me yeah. Professor Genius. I know. And then later on, they're like in the sea because it's flooded, right? And Nemo's like, oh, we can go to wherever, Nightmare Land, right? Just paddle. And the professor's like, paddle? What? Oh, like, what <laughs> yeah. do you oh. mean? I thought you were okay. a genius. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Beef. <laughs> so much beef already. Sorry. Lots of beefy. <laughs> Tim, who was your favorite character? Was it Bon Bon? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'll take that as no. No, it was Icarus. It was Icarus. Oh. I have on my notes that Icarus is the goat. Greatest of all yeah. time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was like, he's definitely a flying squirrel. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> no, he's a rat. They called him a rat for how long? So long. They did call him a rat, but he's definitely a flying squirrel. Yeah. yeah. And like, he, he never corrects her. Like, Nemo's just no, sitting there just taking don't think it. He knows or understands or cares. I don't know. Well, I decided that if I was Icarus, I wouldn't be friends with little Nemo. Because in the parade scene, he like shakes him up and did down. Like, that? he's oh like gosh, a yeah. handkerchief. And then, for exactly what you guys were describing, when they like meet the princess, and she's getting all uppity being like, you brought your rat. And then Nemo <laughs> fucking calls him a rat. Like, come on, brah. Don't stick by your friends. The right. princess has Icarus for a lot of the movie. A she does. Time, yeah. So he knew when to get out. He yeah, well, knew. Icarus knew that Flip was bad. I was going to say, Icarus yeah. knew that Nemo was not yeah, a good friend. I have friend. an idea. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else like the bounty signs for Flip? It okay. said a thousand times okay. ten. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I had beef with that. It was, yeah, you first time you see it, it's a thousand times ten. I was like, okay, why didn't you just write that out? Write out ten thousand. later on, he pulls out a sign that says a hundred thousand. I know. There's the, all the signs have different numbers, if you didn't know. Yeah, they all are different numbers. What's going on? <laughs> they don't know how much they want to pay for Flip. Yeah. 
<laughs> he's kind of annoyance, but we don't know how much. So depending it's, uh, on the day, make every side different. It depends on what he did. Depends on yeah. who's bringing him in. If if they found right. three thousand dollars sign, only getting three thousand dollars. But if Clarice down the road found two million dollars sign, getting two mil. Yeah. Two mil. It's like Easy two mil. It's Monopoly, but with a wanted poster. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to capture Flip. Which and, looks hard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if this movie was remade today, do you think there would be as much cigar smoking? No. It'd be all vaping. No. <laughs> it wouldn't even be that. I know. Like, silly as it is. What do you think it'd yeah. be? Nothing. Just nothing? He wouldn't have a weird yeah. quirk? I don't think he would. Uh, he looked weird. Mm-hmm. I think that was enough. <laughs> well, and like his poor bird flop. Yeah, flip, like, like, flap, right? Flap, was it flap, flip, flap. flop. Oh, I thought it was flop, flip, flop. That made more sense. Either way, yeah. poor little flap was really struggling. Right. Poor flap. Sam was really sad for flap. I was because <laughs> like, it's like getting you. Yeah. All right. I liked how they picked him up and chucked him though. Like you're not flying, so we're yeah, gonna to get, throw get her you to fly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. We kind of touched on this earlier. When they're on the, the like, chariots, you know, like, they... With the goats. Actual goats. With the actual goats. And then mm-hmm. you see a bunch of animals. And then later on, they're, like, going to the celebration. And you see, like, somebody has a chariot with, like, peacocks. Somebody has a chariot with, like, camels. Like, what animal would you have pull your chariot? I, we know what Tim's is. But, Tim, you got to say Yeah, it. you know what mine is. What is it? Yeah. Well, you know what it is. I know, but I need you to say it. A rhino. Well, of course. Obviously. Why would you have a rhino pull it? Tim, how... Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, Tim, why? <laughs> Please. I just point it in a direction and everything gets out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Much more efficient than a peacock. Much more efficient. Yeah. Or a camel. <laughs> <laughs> or a camel, yeah. Those lions are pretty sweet, though. Mm. Yeah, I mm. liked the lion. I bet Sam's is a... Uh, is, uh, Okja. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure. super big. Ooh, what would mine be? Mm, a humpback whale. Ooh, that's a good one. Interesting. I like it. Mm-hmm. Assuming it can fly. It is slumberland. <laughs> well, one section where they were like the n- nightmare land, where it seemed like it was underwater and everything was like the damn giant right water. Yes. Yeah. That was another one of my beef. I was like, why is there? Uh, like a stingray or a manta it's ray in the nightmare air. land. I don't care. Yeah. Also, I have Sam. beef with that because stingrays <laughs> are not like evil, and manta rays are well, not yeah. evil. They're just chilling. They're more scared of you than yeah. you are of them. Sam, yeah, this perpetuating is perpetuating stereotypes. Little Nemo. Yeah, Sam has. Sam always thought that they were evil, and then I'm like, nah. Steve Irwin. Irwin was a freak accident. Yeah. Well, because you're taught to do, like, the stingray shuffle and stuff like that. But I've seen them a lot more in the past year, and they're all super nice and friendly. They're like, hey, how's it going? You got food? (laughs) Maybe that's – maybe I was reading too much into it. Maybe that Ray was just looking for food the whole time. (laughs) Maybe, and he's just like, golly, I'm hungry. (laughs) Just like that. Golly. Wowee. Golly, Oh, I'm hungry. Feed me. Yeah. God, at the beginning, Nemo says like, "Wow, we mm-hmm. so much that mm-hmm. and it, it was that and golly." I swear there was another word. Mm-hmm. I didn't catch it, but I believe you. Uh, not sure. Yeah. But I do know that they said the word dirigible about like ten times yeah. in they two minutes. Drop that for you. They're like, yeah, you need to know, know yeah. that this dirigible is a dirigible because it dirigibles. Over to dirigible. Dirigible, dirigible do, dirigible be. <laughs> well, maybe they're just trying to teach you a vocab lesson. Also. Did you know what a dirigible was since yes, you watched did. this movie so much? <laughs> no, I knew because of other random shit. So it didn't teach you. No, I don't learn no good from the movie. <laughs> it tried. <laughs> I was a child and I don't remember it. Yeah. So when they got to Nightmare Land, after they made the, met the oomps, Mm-hmm. That's where I turned it off. I know I have no recollection of what the Nightmare King resembles. Yeah. Really? Okay, so they're in Nightmare Land, and like you can tell, it's kind of creepy. Yes, but most of the creepy off. stuff doesn't happen until way later. Until they get to Night. Right. Until so they you, get to the King. Oh, Nightmare King. So you knew right when the ooms, you're like, I'm out. 
Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, I loved the oomps. Oompa, yeah. oompa, oompi. Oompo. Oompo. I liked them. Oh, my God. Best characters. Well, they're so weird. They're pretty great. They just, like, could combine into weird blob forms. And all of them were tiny, except for the schnauzer-looking giant bear <laughs> one. Weird. Wait, yeah, like, that one came out of nowhere, and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm the la- I'm Oompo. Well, and I have some beef with Oompo, I'm sorry. Besides the way that he looks, like, he clearly doesn't fit in with them. But... He comes back after he had been held captive in the Nightmare yeah, King's palace, captured. right? And then yeah. they're like, okay, we got to go back and save Morpheus. <laughs> and he's like yeah, super boss. excited to go back. And I'm Let's like, go, guys. <laughs> you were just there. You of all people should know that like it's not a fun right. place. Yeah. <laughs> also, how does he get out? Like they're all captured in these weird like tube things. Santa Claus is brought down in chains. Yeah. I don't know. It's Bizarro Land. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I The oomps, man. And then they're, they were at one point like, well, we know the way. We'll take you. Literally like 10 seconds before, they're like, where are we? I don't know where I am. I can't find my <laughs> shoe from my... I don't know. Uh, you can't show people the way if you don't know where you are. Classic oomps. Classic oomps. <laughs> Well, I mean, for me, the whole time I'm watching this movie, up until like three-fourths of the way through, I'm like, this movie is so random, and there's so much going on that I'm not really sure how to follow it. Oh, yeah, no. And then I realized it's built like somebody had a bunch of dreams. Yep, mm-hmm. that is what it is. Like, you ever you ever woken up in the middle of a dream and gone back to sleep and continue having that dream? Yeah. That's how this movie ended up feeling. I was like, oh, okay, it makes a little more sense now, but it doesn't make me like it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I will say well, that, not, like, the more you think about the movie, the more that it makes sense, right? Like, we were talking and about... And less like, sense. And less sense. It's a well, weird yeah, combination. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, the bed response, which, by the way, that bed, that was a sturdy-looking bed. Oh, for sure. Well, it was the 80s, right? Well, the, but the movie <laughs> took place in, like, nineteen the 1910s. The Even more reason for sturdy beds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they had that fat people then, right? I mean, there are fat people now, too. Okay, that was a tangent that I, I was trying what to say. What are you like, trying to even say? I was trying to say, like, Are you, you know, saying people were big-boned back in the day? Yeah, well, like, you see the Renaissance paintings, and they're like, they big. They thick with it. So yeah. they need to They are beds. thick with it. <laughs> That's thick. Oh, Santa man. had some cankles going on. Yeah, he probably had a sturdy bed himself. <laughs> um, but he is the king. I hope he had a sturdy bed. That's true. I, I want a sturdy bed, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to put in for a request for a sturdy bed that can also fly in the middle of the night. This is also, yeah, uh, did anybody else realize this was like a very odd version of Peter Pan? <laughs> yeah, I kind of yeah, got those vibes. That's how it felt. Yeah, because yeah. Neverland, Slumberland, take off in the middle of the night flying with strangers. Yeah, check. Basically the same thing. Kidnaps people. Hope well, kidnaps Wendy and whatnot. That's true. I was just thinking <laughs> that... Uh, People were kidnapped in the middle of the night. (laughs) The beginning of the movie where you like see him and his bed's flying through was very reminiscent of Peter Pan because you just see like the tops of houses and he's like, "Ooh, it's so cool." Which is I know, and then I'm like, "Choo choo, motherfucker!" Dirigible. (laughs) Well, I I was talking about the train that was falling. Followed him into his house. Uh, choo, that was choo, frightening. Get out the way. Get out the way. Choo. Have you been sneaking pies again? <laughs> yes, indeed I have. I was like, if you change those words <laughs> to cheesecake, <laughs> Tim is done. <laughs> I don't even remember what they taste like. Or cereal or any food. Most uh, food. Just food, food. Time. I like food. Food is well. <laughs> Yeah, I like to eat. I was confused by the one scene where... He's sleepwalking. So, like, he comes down and he's sleepwalking, right, to try to get the pie. And then he's obviously, like, awake because he, like, reads, like, the Keep Your Promise or whatever. And then mm-hmm. he, like, sprints right. off. So, like, was it a ruse the whole time or does he actually sleepwalk, do you think? Because he falls out of bed. So, he could Oof. sleepwalk and maybe just something. I think he sleepwalks. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I think it was awake. sleepwalking. Okay. Yeah. Because I was like, that's a very elaborate ruse. Yeah, did you get I mean, like, you're a kid, right. but still. <laughs> did you get the imagery? Kids do come up with weird stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. That is <laughs> okay. true. Did I get the imagery? I think imagery, metaphor, simile, whatever you want to call it. That, like, mm. 
the cabinet door was the door to Nightmare Land. Yes, they made that very clear yeah. as an adult. I as an adult, as a, as a child. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Whooshed. So whooshed. Well, I was thinking, like, I'm glad that you said that because I almost brought that up as something that, like, oh, they make it super clear. So as a kid, you should be able to get that, right? Nope. <laughs> right. Well, because of the yeah. whole teleporting back yeah. and restarting the dream. Yeah, that's true. So who falls out of the bed at that many times? Like, it, he's probably going to break a leg the next time he falls out of the bed. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. My sister used to have an issue with that, I thought. Or at least she's fallen out once or twice. <laughs> I've fallen out. <laughs> Sam, Sam broke her leg in her sleep. So. Ow. <laughs> Maybe I was going to slumberland. What the hell of a dream. <laughs> yeah, Sam was off to slumberland back in the day. Or we running in nightmare land, Maybe. I actually used to yeah. fall out of the bed quite a bit. No. Oh, <laughs> now that we're talking actually, about this. Well, I was in bunk bed, so we had like a little gate up, so oh. I couldn't fall from the top. Well, I was going to say, yeah, like my bed wasn't like super tall till I was older, but. But my favorite part about those like railings in my in my um, college dorm room, you could request those. Well, yeah, if you're an active yeah. sleeper. Yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting things in slumberland, you need them. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> Now, now the big ooze scene, that mm-hmm. is the scene that caused so many nightmares for me. Really? But I would persevere through that and just not watch the Nightmare King part. I would just close my eyes. Well, I guess that would make sense because I was like, the Nightmare King is creepy as fuck, even as an adult. <laughs> so like, Satan? Yeah, so like, if you had seen that, I'm, I'd i be shocked that the goo caused you scenes, but I forgot that you turned it off early, so that would make sense. Like, the the goo is kind of sinister, but the Nightmare King, mm-mm. He was like, <laughs> this movie used to give me nightmares, and then I see the Nightmare King, and I'm like, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight, like, <laughs> damn. Yeah, when, if I had told you at the beginning of the movie, hey, yeah, I used to get nightmares, Tim, would you be like, Making it most of the way through the movie, being like, "I, how did this kid get nightmares from this?" Uh, and then the ooze happened. Know, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think everybody has nightmares. Some people more than others, but Damn, I had nightmares uh, of this. Yeah, maybe the nightmare king will... of that. No, <laughs> I had nightmares of like aliens when I would go and watch movies I wasn't allowed to watch, but I would find them and I would watch them. Oh, no. I had nightmares of like that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's not shocking to me that you did this. And then I'd have to run through the house when I'm sneaking my meals late at night. <laughs> Tim was as a little as possible. Did you have like the the stairs that memorized which ones creaked and which ones didn't? Yep, of course. Yeah, the bottom two creaked at my parents' house. So you would always have to, yeah, I, the third one, you'd have to yeah. go skip the first two. I always had to make sure to step towards like the outsides, I guess. Yeah. The inside, mm-hmm. middle part. Yeah. They were a little bit more stressed down in the middle. Yeah. You guys did a lot of calculating. This is what happened to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many times I used to sneak downstairs to play WoW. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tim, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't you still do that, Tim? <laughs> he doesn't have to sneak no past anymore. anymore. <laughs> he just, he just like... straight up walks in. <laughs> He's just like, staying up all day. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, yeah. was going to say, did you guys... When... You were like leaving your basement or whatever, and turn out the lights, like sprint up the stairs. Because I definitely did. I had a light at the top of the stairs. It depends on the night, but yeah, no, I hundred percent would do that. My (laughs) parents' house. I actually think I was trying to fight like the nightmare king. I had a broom and I would swing in the dark with it in the basement. (laughs) Oh man! I had some great times as a kid, guys. No repressed memories here. Yeah, you weren't affected at all. Nope. Well, speaking of the Nightmare King one more time, I think this was one of the We're not even done with him. The funniest scenes to me as an adult. I mean, as a kid, it would probably be a little bit frightening. But, like, he finds out that Nemo's in the castle and he goes, Nemo in the castle with the scepter. And, like, that's Sam. not how he said it, but it sounded like a clue game. Like, Sam was like, yeah, yeah. oh, no, Colonel Nemo's going to murder in the kitchen <laughs> with the candlestick. Like, that's what it sounded oh like to God. me. Yeah. But 100%. I don't know. I don't know. I think his best line was, ooh, pajamas do scare me so. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, Tim, what was the incantation to defeat the Nightmare King? 
the pajama thing? <laughs> yeah, Tim. Ooh, ooh, jama, my pajama, pajama. Ooh, no, I don't know. You just kept saying stuff like that over and over. Kazama pajama, kazama pajama. Kazama yeah, pajama. Yeah, pajama. So I actually wrote it down what Santa had sent to him. Oh, because after the paper. Yeah. Jazama pajama, pajama, chazama, shamira kazam, pajab, pajab, shazam, pajama, pajama. That's a lot Beautiful. of pajamas. He, yeah. Well, he was very adamant when he and the princess were talking. There are a lot of pajamas in there. Yeah. And there's a lot of kazamas. Yeah. Uh huh. Kazama pajama. Yeah, Sam. I'm surprised Sam didn't intro with kazama pajama. I really wanted to, but uh, I thought that was going a little too crazy. Now, yeah, now yeah. did this Understand did this air before like anything with Shazam? Did Shazam mm-hmm. steal it? Maybe. Probably not. Maybe. I will state I that this is a it. comic. That is true. That's been around for a while. What? <laughs> oh yeah, Tim. This was a comic book. I dislike comic. that fact. You dislike that fact? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. How long has Little Nemo the comics been around? I want to say I think it was like a Sunday comic sort of deal. Like regular? Yeah. Wow. That's. Long. Or it was a comic book apparently. Oh, it came out. It's cool. It's cool. It came out in 1905. What? Kazama Pajama. Kazama Pajama. I'm just... So maybe Sazam did steal a little bit. Of yeah, I know. Because <laughs> DC wasn't around yet. Yeah. But did you guys know that... So a couple more animators on this film mm-hmm. that people that you guys probably are aware of. Brad Bird. Nope. He directed The Incredibles and oh. Ratatouille, Incredibles 2. Damn. Yeah. He and then another Disney, uh, I don't know if he's like a staple, but Jerry Reese, he did Disney's Dinosaur. Oh, okay. And he also did the directing for Rock and Roller Coaster. Nice. So he did that weird like Aerosmith scene. <laughs> <laughs> but they worked on it. And Ray Bradbury was one of the writers for this film. Mm-hmm. Do you know who he is? Yes. Because I... <laughs> sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Yes. So he wrote like... Fahrenheit 451. Yeah, but in like Dandelion Wine was the one that I uh, recognized, and that one too. But yeah. I recognized his name. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. When the credit scene was going by. <laughs> so Ray Bradbury wrote this movie, and he had a conversation with Brad Bird and Jerry Reese that went with the two animators were like, we're just il- illustrating what Jer- um, Brad Bar- Bradbury is writing. And then Bradbury was asked the same question, like, oh, what are you like? How's it going? And he's like, oh, I'm just putting into writing what these wonderful artists are drawing. Drawing. <laughs> There's a bit of circular dependency right there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the two animators were like, "Nope, we quit," and then they left. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, this movie like started in like 1982 for production and didn't get fin- released to video um to theaters till 1988. Damn. Yeah. Now, animation did take a lot longer in the 80s. Look at the Little yeah, Mermaid. That's true. The storm scene alone. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And knowing the, like, their ooze and their creepy stuff coming from Nightmare Land where, ugh, that one, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's animated really well for the time. No, it is. Especially for the time. I would say the whole thing was animated pretty well. I don't know if this was remastered, but when it came on, like, I was expecting it to look a little grainier. I was just expecting it to look bad because I hadn't heard of it. It's not like it was a Disney film, right? So you're like, all right, like, who knows if they really animated this really well. But then, like, it comes on and it looks really nice and clean. So I was like, that's what I remember, too. Okay, so yeah. And I remember Santa. We haven't even talked about Princess Camille, really. God, she was the worst. She's just such a blah character. (laughs) She's just like, oh, I hate you. You know what? I kind of like you. She went from hating him to liking him, like, instantly. Yeah. You know what? I like you now. <laughs> and I like your rat. What? But the greatest part before that is, like, Nemo's getting invited to come there mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. Professor Genius. And he's like, this princess is a girl? Well, yeah, typically princesses are girls. Well, I think Bon Bon said that or something. She's yeah, like, bon bon. well, princesses are girls. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Well, and that seems particularly funny because he's like, I've never played with a girl. And he's basically being right. like, I don't like girls. And then, yeah. like, five minutes later, again, he's like, I like girls. Oh, because she gave him cookies. She gave him cookies. 
Yep. As an eight-year-old child, I think I understand that. I mean, I feel like this is, to- you can deny it, Tim, but I feel like <laughs> if somebody showed up with cookies for Tim, he'd be happy now. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah Tim happy, would be like, yeah. I like you. Much excited. Yeah. I know that you just stabbed me in the kidney, but, you know, you just gave me cookies. <laughs> Tell you what, those cookies are pretty damn <laughs> Did you make them? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, can, you get, can I get some more? <laughs> also cheesecake please cheesecake cookies yeah cheesecake 100%. now i gotta say tim is a much better helmsman of a boat when we play video games than uh the nemo is and, on the dirigible just like tossing around the, the... <laughs> yeah i wrote that down too it's like immediately he just starts spinning the wheel <laughs> like okay here we go and then bon bon was like it's like being an acrobat i'm like how is this like being an acrobat now Right. <laughs> I'm not an acrobat, so maybe an acrobat. Tweet us. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Instagram us. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> now, now, okay. I really wanted to see the big battle of Santa versus Satan, because mm-hmm. you know yeah, they get they get dope. I feel like they needed they get their like snail mail mixed up all the time. Mm-hmm. Santa and Satan are the same five letters. <laughs> She had this blank look on her face. It looks like Little Nemo when he was falling. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. I never want to be compared to Little Nemo, but continue. But yeah, I just I just wanted to see this epic bout between these two. Yeah. Yeah, but they... Kazama, pajama, pajama, kazama. <laughs> Jazama, pajama. Well, they do kind of set it up for Nemo to be the winner, though. So it's oh, yes. not weird that you don't see it. But yeah. I mean, right. I could have, I could have seen like a flashback or like Morpheus from like Santa, Santa from like back in the day. Like <laughs> they kind of like tell you, which this is typical of kids' movies. I feel like, like ooh, Nightmare Land, but they don't really ever say like why it's bad. Which I mean, hello, it's Nightmare Land. Like you should get it, but at right, the same yeah. time, like. I don't know. If it was a regular movie, you'd probably see, like, a flashback of, like, him and his youth battling each other or something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like, he could just blast him to oblivion. Yeah. yeah. What were you saying, Tim? Yeah. But at the same time, he was like, oh, you've defeated him for good or whatever. Yeah. Santa Which, could have like, done wait, that the whole up. time. Haven't you guys been fighting forever? <laughs> yeah. How, does that work? how is it now yeah. that we defeated him? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I was confused. Yeah, because oh, yeah. the Nightmare Palace turned into like flowers and grass. Like, yeah, as Morpheus and never all the goblins, all the he, he just pushed them away. Yeah, this kid finally defeated him. I don't know. Yeah, there are no pies left in the world. Mm. <gasps> I know. <laughs> don't worry, cookies are still around. <laughs> <laughs> but like, did you guys notice? Also, notice that all the other monsters. They were called goblins. Yeah. You're a goblin. Yeah. You weird sea creature. Everything goblin. Is a goblin, yeah. Goblin. And I'm like, honestly, Flip looks the most goblin life of them all. Yeah. That green face yeah, really does, does it yeah. for me. Well, what was going on with that? Like, why? Did, why he had did... a mask on. If you notice it, there's a little there's a little overlap on his nose to show he had a green mask on. But why? Because he saw a circus person. With a mask. Oh, you're probably right. But I was like, that's just like such a weird look. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I don't know. This is bizarre. Tim, what did you did you like Flip? Flip's look. No. Look his look. His look. No, I didn't like anything about Flip. <laughs> Tim's like, I know who I'm being for Halloween. <laughs> and it's gonna be Professor Genius, right? Professor Genius. <laughs> I'll dress up as Little Nemo. Genius Sam can like... be Princess Camille because no. she loves Camille. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we'll dress our cat up as Icarus. Now that I'd be down for. <laughs> All you gotta do. Just that part. <laughs> also, are flying squirrels indigenous to New York? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I so. think he was. I don't know. I I really don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> it's very bizarre, but it's a flying squirrel, best friend. Yeah. Like, no, I don't know. what a weird choice. Yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh gee. Golly oh, gee, Willikers, Batman. Oh gee, golly gee. Speaking of Pooh Bear again, because we already <laughs> talked about Pooh Bear, I thought I, I personally thought that the Oompa things looked like the people of a hundred acre woods. So like one of them looked like Pooh Bear, the small one looked like Piglet. Oh. Okay. There was one that was kind of more naggy, Rabbit. The big one was like oh so dumb like Eeyore. 
Mm, I, I, can, like, I can kind of see If I is. put them up on a screen and was like pointing to them, you'd be like, nah, you're still crazy, but a little less, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. They have better um, superpowers, though, being able to turn into trees and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool, at least. Yeah, they were just like, I'm a tree. And then they like just globbed and glooped onto the bed. Yeah. <laughs> I was just, I was like, uh, I do remember this. I also like how they all their arms could just pop up randomly, but they kind of had to stay left, right, but they could just be like, Whoop. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Just grabbing their faces and whatnot. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to get into these casters, the voices. Well, I was just going to say, Tim, did you have anything else before? He, yeah, did you have a bunch before? Let me <laughs> check my notes. Let me, let me double check my notes. Uh oh yeah I did say oh god okay <laughs> speaking of the goblins yeah like their song which one oh yes we haven't even <laughs> talked about the singing in this uh, Nick's the uh, going yeah. to the cast the <laughs> singing in this I oh, apparently repressed god. that too <laughs> yeah it was awful <laughs> it, was <so> bad. <laughs> it was like it was like they were trying to make their own songs and stuff and like expect them to catch on. They were just terrible. I didn't so bad. What was going on? I, I just was like, I, I, I definitely had to pause multiple times through this movie. <laughs> it is a no, kid's no, no, no. movie. It was definitely part of it. But, and then what was my other thing? Oh yeah. And it just kind of made me think like every time he woke up and he was still in a dream, it was like Inception. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It was basically. <laughs> pulled an Inception. <laughs> I think you nailed it earlier, though. Like, he was waking up and then going yeah. back into his dream. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because, like, he, like, got to keep his gear, you know? Like, he still had his scepter when he woke up one time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. It's just, like, <laughs> that was crazy. One of the times he woke up and the scepter, like, comes flying through the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I re- that one really had me. I thought that he was awake, and then that thing came through, and I was like, Damn it! <laughs> and then when he finally woke up, you're we like, oh, he's actually awake. Yeah, because they were just getting a nightmare lane. And I looked at my watch and I was like, I think we got like 10 minutes left. How are they supposed to wrap this up? Yeah, I thought that was right. very crazy. But yeah, I forgot to mention that. I still think like mono e mono, if Santa didn't have his giant laser beam scepter, I think the Nightmare King would absolutely wreck him. The Nightmare King would wreck everyone. Yeah. <laughs> he's huge. Well, I mean... As soon as the king didn't have the scepter. Oh, yeah. He got globity glooped. Yeah. <laughs> globity glooped. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what it looked like. I just think it's really funny because, like, it's a very, like, he gets captured in, like, a very sinister way. And, like, this is, like, one of the most creepy villains ever. And we're, like, playing it off. Like, oh, I just got globity glooped. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> Just globbed and glooped up, pulled up in the air. And then they're put into, like, a goopy tunnel. That was, this is bizarre. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I liked how they were um, they were behind a door, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, he can't find us here. I know where you are. Mm-hmm. Oh, he knows where we are. It's a <laughs> trick. Yeah. No, he said it. He said it. And then he, like, yells back. And he's like, oh, there you are. Oh, I was like, oh man! I'm that just sitting there, like, like, come on. <laughs> Nightmare King knew how to play, like, defeat a child in mind games. Yeah, he knows what's up. <laughs> he's had a few kids, <laughs> apparently. I I like to imagine that he's gone through this with multiple princes, and uh, <laughs> he like, just annihilates this kid them all. Just finally wins, or like, kind of like the Van Helsing battle. Van Helsing is always just like reborn until he finally oh, wins yeah. against Dracula. It's kind of like. That gives me that same vibe. I, <laughs> well, I gotta kill another kid. Oh no! Oh, well, here we go, killing kids again. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's very odd. That, like, why? Why does Santa choose him as his heir? Like, they never explain I, that. I, 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 I put that up as uh, it's the kid's dream. Okay. It, yeah. That's how well, I explained it to myself. You were writing something down already. So in the parade, uh-huh. the guy, the girl that he saw that was like the princess, threw him a rose. Okay. And then Santa picked him up, and that's where he killed Icarus. With oh yeah yeah yeah. So like, okay. Santa chose him there. Okay. And so that seeped into his there. brains. He was like, "You're the heir." <laughs> it's yeah. So fucking weird. <laughs> like 
I get hey, it. This is a great children's movie. But it's weird that this random stranger's like, you're right here. When, like, I don't know. Any. It was 1905 when Whatever. the book was written. They just pick random people off the street for their heirs. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They point out the castle. Hey, you and the green. You want to be a prince? Yeah. <laughs> You have to defeat Satan, but like it's cool. It's cool. It's and cool. I just imagine it like, no, no, please, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's up next? Uh, Red shirt, blue shorts. <laughs> Little sailor boy. Okay, I'm going real deep with this now. Uh-huh. Uh, Flip. Adelphia was once one of the princes, and instead of being defeated <gasps> fully, he was just kind of morphed and changed, and the battle just completely changed him forever. And that's why he knows where it is and where everything is, and that's why he has a map. Uh, he knows all about all of the slumber land and all of the slumber lands. Dun dun dun! Wow, you just figured Damn. out this whole Super movie. Deep. Mind blown. Yeah. Did you read that online? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just popped in my head. <laughs> well, that's a good theory. That's I like a good it. Theory. I, I like it too. <laughs> I highly recommend that theory. All you YouTubers watching, please use that. (laughs) Make sure you're like this Tim guy on Flipper Flicks. Mm -hmm. He's the one who led me to this. He knows what's up. (laughs) And then we'll get some like Willy Wonka themed sort of shenanigans. No, 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 no. This is just the prequel to Inception. Uh Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, it's kind of Incepting like. Mm. All right. So so I'm going to make that YouTube theory and then say that we helped with it. (laughs) Yeah, I mean that's how we came to the conclusion. We all we all put our minds together. Mind meld. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Sam. Any last remarks before I get into the cast? Um, I just want to say that the door is huge, and <laughs> Flip and Flop. I mean, it's not Flop. It's Nemo. Flip. And Nemo are tiny, teeny compared to the door. And I just don't understand how, A, that key that's so small opens the door lock on a door that that's big. big. They didn't even turn it, did they? No. And then beep number two is that there's no way in heck they'd be ever to, like, pull that open. And then Nemo's ever... Yeah, that thing was huge. That's true. But then, like, like it's bigger than any door that you see in most movies. Like, yeah. it's not even, like, like the gates of Mordor. Like, oh, right. uh, it's so big! Or you need, like, four cave trolls just to open up one side. Yeah. And, like, it had a pulley system and shit, so, like, mm-hmm. they tried to make it look like... I just don't get it. And then you're like, no wonder Nemo can't close it. Like, he shouldn't have even gotten it open in the first place. Anywho, that was just my last beef. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, don't leave the key. Oh, wait, we left the key. Yeah! <laughs> we left oh. the key. Okay. I got the key. <laughs> uh, did they ever remove the key? Is the globity loop nope. still there? He yeah. went to get it again, and then Nightmare Dude was already out. So it was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> So, I guess I guess this is one question. When he's on the dirigible with mm-hmm. Professor Genius, mm-hmm. I don't know. You just wanted to drop dirigible one last time. I did. Yeah. And you did too. Did Tim, dirigible. There we go. The trio. Um, so, he's on, he's with Professor Genius and he's like, don't look, o- don't go over there. That's where Nightmare Land and uh, the King of Nightmare, um, Nightmare King is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was in the door then? I don't know. I Just don't the globity loop? I, it, it, yeah, I think it was kind of like his power, maybe. Yeah. Then like, I don't he know was why. Probably still part of Slumberland and all this stuff, but like that was probably like, I don't know, his powers of some kind. That was his super secret stash of goo. Yeah, his globity loop. Well, not so super secret. Maybe I guess. that's the thing. Like he was slowly <laughs> defeating him and collecting parts of him and putting it in the. Oh, that's weird, but. Yeah. Tim's got all the theories on this movie. <laughs> Tim's like, I am going in to oh, Slumberland. Man, He's going to go get the NES game of Slumberland, um, of this game movie. No. There's yeah. Oh, no, my God. A lot of people online have never heard of the movie. They're like, but I loved the game. It was creepy as hell, though. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have an NES. so uh, I'm going to have to look up this game. Yes, you will. So, the cast! Woo! (laughs) 
Nemo is played by Gabriel Damon. Don't know who that is. Littlefoot in Land Before Time. What? Oh my gosh. Crazy. I know. That's cray cray. <laughs> Professor Genius is played by Rene Auberjondis. I don't know. He's in Boston Le- Legal with like Shatner. Oh. He's in oh, most okay. of the episodes too. Interesting. Icarus. <laughs> played by Danny Mann. Yes, this guy actually is a normal actor. And he does Percy in Pocahontas. The pug? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the pug? Uh, King Morpheus play, is played by Bernard Ernard Erhard. I was like, Bernard Ernard, nice. <laughs> He's just been in random shit. Princess Camille has been in random shit. She's the worst. She's not done. She didn't do much. She's on the level with Sarah from Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah. <laughs> kind of the same faces too yeah. <laughs> the nightmare king was played by bill martin like tim said one of the writers for harry and the hendersons yeah and flip is played by michael rooney now he's before our time okay he yeah, is I lo- yeah i accidentally looked him up too yeah <laughs> he is known to play a lot of roles with audrey hepburn oh and i was gonna like, say because his voice definitely sounded familiar for some yeah. reason yeah he like he's in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay. He's in It's a Mad 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 World. Nice. Mm. Babes in sorry, my writing is poor here. In an arms or something. And then he's one of the old guys in Night at the Museum oh. with who are is Danny Glover in that? I think so. Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke's the main guys. one. Mm-hmm. Mm. So Mickey Rooney Mickey Rooney's the shorter one, Gus. Okay. In that. Kind of crazy, right? I can't picture him, but his voice did sound familiar. Yes, it did. So that, As a youth, I can be like, yeah. 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 <laughs> but Mickey Rooney it, like looks like some sort of god compared to these guys. He's like, <laughs> Land Before Time wasn't out yet. Oh, that's true. Pocahontas wasn't out yet, even though I don't know if Percy really is saying much. Um, Percy is the best character in that movie. Uh, Bill Martin might be able to be like, oh, I did some stuff, because like, he did Harry. And the right. Henderson's, like He wrote for it. But yeah, like when you go to his IMDb, it's just a picture of Harry. Nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, a, it's literally a zoomed in thing. And it says that a lot of Harry's facial features and like uh, expressions were based off of his actual face. Really? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. I, like, All right, I, gotta, I gotta figure out why it's just Harry is his face. Right? <laughs> it is super zoomed in. But yeah. So those are the actors and actress. Yeah. It's a very male heavy movie. Mm-hmm. What about Bon Bon? Bon Bon? I did not write Bon Bon down. She had a weird voice. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Uh, the only other last note that I had was, so this got its ass kicked in Japan by Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, of course. <laughs> How could it not? <laughs> right? So, yeah, one of the main reasons why Miyazaki hated this film was because it was all a dream. He despised that. Oh. But that confuses me because Spirited Away is kind of dreamlike, but not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one's like, that one takes place all in her mind. I don't really know. It's very similar. Yeah, but like in, in um, Ghibli films, they all take place in the same universe. So, like, I guess it's like, since it's all in the same universe, it wasn't a dream. But doesn't she wake up in the back seat of that? She does, but everything's like overgrown and old. Oh, that's true. So like it did take place in time. I don't know. Whatever, Miyazaki. <laughs> yeah, everything else he writes does not take place in a dream. Yeah, so, so I get that. <laughs> yeah, he really hated that. Like, and I just love that the writers were just like, no. I mean, the animators were like, what do you mean you you don't know what you're writing about without us? Yeah. We out, and then they go direct big budget films. <laughs> Well, I guess they knew where their talent was. Yeah. So, (laughs) closing um, question for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the writer of Dragon Ball Z clearly has a great, great move named Kamehameha. Right. Is it better than Kazama Pajama? (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) For sure. What? You wouldn't want to just hear Goku being like, Kazama Pajama? I love that. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> Are you just imagining How it now? you ruined my childhood. <laughs> it's cool. My childhood apparently is a little repressed. <laughs> it's a weird yeah. freak dream nightmare. On so, repeat. yeah. Oh, my yeah, so. skips here and there. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently the, the ending never happened. So Yeah, you never saw the end of it. Just... <laughs> I swear, though, I do remember the one scene where Flip lights the firework as a um, cigar. Mm. Right. It's like the only scene from the closing, like, closing part that I remember. I was going to say, you had to have watched it once all the way through right. to know to turn it off. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's Jesus. funny. All right. Timothy. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. You same, gotta same, say same. if you'd flip it on. Yeah. I was gonna ask, oh. would you flip this on? <laughs> You're definitely getting the wheel out. <laughs> I was getting the wheel out, but I was doing multitask. Oh, okay. You know, like I was thinking about that, and I I was gonna give it a yes, but um, just the because hard maybe? it's a kids movie and whatnot, and and it clearly like probably would keep the attention of a child maybe like a younger child would be like what is going on so their mind would stick to it i'm assuming i don't know mm-hmm. but then you were like well it gave me nightmares and i'm like well maybe i wouldn't then oh it gave a lot of people nightmares apparently <laughs> yeah like so, i was like going through reddit and people were like yep that creeped me out and gave me nightmares yeah knowing that i'm gonna have to go with no don't flip it on <laughs> all right sam oh man <laughs> I really want to say yes to flip it on because, like, clearly it was such a big part of your childhood, but I right. just, I can't. Like, it, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Don't I was, watch Monster Trucks instead. <laughs> like, it wasn't, a, it wasn't completely horrible. It did have, it, I mean, I didn't Kazama it, Pajama. I love Kazama Pajama, and it's. I didn't take near as many pause breaks as swept away. So oh like, gosh, uh... there have been worse, but I'm just trying to think if like I would put it on when I go to bed. Like, no, mm-hmm. absolutely no. not. 100% <laughs> and not. then I'm like, oh, well, I feel like this is a movie I would turn on to like freak people be like, <laughs> you'd want to show it to people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you too. Movie that somebody would look at you afterwards and judge you for. Yeah. That would be the, <laughs> like, like, if yeah, I was I, trying I to get judged. <laughs> yeah. You could watch this on Halloween. Maybe. <laughs> Gross. No. Give me an no. Halloween movie. <laughs> Okay, so Sam, is that a no? That's a no for me, dog. So, for me, <laughs> it's a yes, but you have yeah. to flip it off. At a certain point. B- before they even see the Nightmare King. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta wait till he like, says his clue line, Nemo is a castle with a scepter, oh, and then God. you can turn it off. Yeah. But no, that would, I mean, you then you'd see him at that point, which yeah. is creepy, so, so that's fair. But yeah, for kids, people with kids that are locked in their home, if you want to give your child nightmares, Go do it. it. <laughs> also, if you played the old NES game, I would say try and watch it because you might get some weird flashbacks to your childhood. I was going to say, yeah. I do want to see if the game's available for like the Raspberry Pi and Whoa, stuff. I'd be interested yeah. in, <laughs> in trying it out because I'm curious if it's as creepy as the movie or creepier because I could definitely see it being creepier. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> So, oh, Sam, which category do you want? You want one that we've already done. For sure. Yes, because we're doing reverse psychology I now. I love me some box office busts and award winners and streaming. Mm-hmm. I'll let you click the button here. Or Why you can spin it. Box office bust again. <laughs> it's your destiny. Dun, 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 Pick three! <laughs> Still one we've done, but only one. So, I'll take it. Okay, so Tim, which do you want to pick? So we got pick three, where we pick mm-hmm. one of us picks a genre and the other one picks a a streaming platform, and then Sam I picks a number. Genre. You got genre. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna choose Netflix. Oh God! All right, <laughs> you made it easy. Horror. Oh no! <laughs> All right, tell me. What I do want to let everybody know though, our Netflix account picture, and Tim, I think yours is too, right? Uh, it's it's um, Jake Gyllenhaal, our best friend Jake. Yeah. In Okja. From Okja. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. So, okay, horror. Oh, no. Tim, what did you do to us? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not going to sleep for weeks now. I've got the Nightmare King and horror. <laughs> oh, 10, Lord. 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to sound like 51. It. 1 through 51. Yeah. Let's do 15. 15? 15. 15. Wait, I think you picked 15 for Anna. No, I picked no. 13. Uh, let's do 23 then. 23. <laughs> we'll try to go a little bit further away from what we picked last time. <laughs> Is that really what we got? I'm going to double check. 
You're going to be happy with the one you got. Oh, really? Well, let me double check that it's the same for me. <laughs> Make sure you didn't miscount. The Ring. Oh, this is a good one. Movies. Just Yeah, just do search horror. While we're talking about movies that gave us nightmares as children, that would be this one for me. <laughs> I've never seen it. So, oh my god. This is one of the few times you guys get to hear it before. Oh my god, my palms are sweaty. I don't know if I can watch this again. I was really scared of this movie as a kid. Eh, you'll be fine. Oh. Nobody has landlines anymore. Wait, was that that one? So, Tim, there's no do, quality like, checking. Like, critically it's... acclaimed, or? I just typed, I went to the search bar on my phone. Oh, you just typed in? Horror. Horror. Okay, I see what you did there. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't say 24, because Hush looks creepy as hell. Yeah, the ring is what, yeah, I get. Wow, oh really? my gosh! I was hoping for Puka, but that, we'll save that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll save that one. <laughs> that one's on Hulu, right? Oh, Still. it is? Yeah. Next okay. time. Oh, thank God we didn't do 15. I don't do well Hush with scary movies. Why does, oh, I watched like a third of Hush already, <laughs> apparently. So if that tells you anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was 15? Sinister 2. Oh, that would have kind of been fun, though, because it was pocket. a sequel. <laughs> yeah, but anyways. What is Mara? No. I don't know. Little Nemo. We're going from a children's horror film into a horror film. Into another. From one child's nightmares to another. <laughs> yeah, Solid. Yeah. We're going to have to find your alien movies. Back in the day. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you for joining us here on our Kazama Pajama episode of pajama. <laughs> Flipper Flip. Flip. Tim, I need you to give us a Kazama pajama to set us, send us out. <gasps> pajama, Kajama, Kazama pajama, Kazama pajama. Uh, <laughs> Night <laughs> King Dad. Nightmare King Dad. <laughs> Nightmare King God. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks, guys. <laughs>